Dave Bricker and the following video tutorial deals with making pop-up windows and using image swap techniques um, with Fireworks and Dreamweaver. What we're going to do is export some images, build a very simple page, and set up some JavaScript behaviors that do a couple of things for us. Before I start, I just wanted to show you my page. Um, I've got some dummy buttons up here, which I'll just wire up as rollover buttons. They're not actually going to go anywhere, but they could if it were a real site. I do have this square here. This slice here um, I have called image holder, and the image holder slice is one that is going to be replaced with other images. And you'll notice that in my example, it's 330 by 330 pixels. You can make it any size you want. I've made mine square because I might have vertical images, I might have horizontal images, and that's what's going to help uh, help me. Uh, that That's basically the boundary box that's going to contain either of those, and that'll become more clear as we go along. I've got my title graphics, I've got my thumb red, thumb green, etc. I didn't slice them again for the second ones because I'll just use the originals. And in my states palette, uh, let me turn my slices off. What I've done is I've taken those thumbnails, I've ghosted them and moved them a little bit to the right. So what happens is when I export, I'm going to get uh, images um, for both frames. And if I look in my images folder, you can see I've got my buttons. And I like to use labels that keep things together in the folder. So here's the close button and the close frame 2. Um, and then I've got thumb gray and thumb gray frame 2, etc. There's my image holder. So these are all of the parts and pieces that are going to be used for that. Now, in my example, I'm just using colored squares. Um, I have my swap images. And you'll notice that this document if I go to canvas size is 330 by 330. It matches that image holder square and I have orange, red, green, gray. I have the names of the thumbnails and the way I actually exported those is in this case I want the white space because I need to replace the image with another image of the same size. And again, stay with me, this will become clear. Um, there's a nice piece in Fireworks that allows me to export these states. In CS3 it used to be frames to files, in CS4 it's states to files. Let's see what happens when this eventually opens up. Okay, so I have my pops and swaps folder and in this case I have a swap images folder and I can go layers to files or states to files if I trim the images the white space will be gone in this case I don't trim the images I hit export I'll replace the ones that are there just for the example and here are my images and you'll notice if I open one up that it's got the white space included that is gonna land right into this slice when I do my image swaps. For my pop-up windows I have the same thing but what I've done is just created a back a close box and arrow. The rest of it I'm not worried about. It's not sliced it's just there for my uh, visual reference and so I've got a 330 by 30, 330 image and then on top of that I've got 40 pixel high uh, buttons. So my pop-up windows are going to end up being 330 by 370. So when you plan these designs, this is something that, that you may want to consider. So that's my source material and you can see my images and things here. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, here's my pops and swaps, my image swaps page. Um, I'm going to save this and I'm going to go ahead and preview this in my browser. And the way this works is if I, you can see that, let's see, image swap. You can see where these are, you can even see the white space in the ghosted area. It's replacing that white blank image holder slice. Now if I do a pop-up window, which is going to be the second part of this tutorial, I'm actually going to get another window. And of course from within that window, 
I can cycle through the different ones and I can click the close button and close the window. Fundamentally that's what we're going to be going to be doing and what I want to do is I want to start with the image swaps. Um, so you can see I've built this and what I've done here is in my properties I've literally given this slice an ID in my case it's image holder you could call it Mary or John anything you want um, because the JavaScript that this uh, behavior this um, that's going to get written has to refer to the images by name so in this case we're going to give it a um, an ID of image holder and here's my properties from uh, Dreamweaver. One of the things I want to do is in the window menu, I want to open up the behaviors palette. Now, in this case, let's go with the image swap. And I'm going to delete all of these and start over. So the first thing I want to do is create the rollover behavior. And to do that one, I do set nav bar image. Um, the image, the up image is images thumb red. The over image is. Let's go back to my. And what I'm looking for is thumb red frame two. Um, alternate text is red when clicked I don't need to worry about going to a URL and so that's all there is to it um, if I was going to a URL I would have just written it in there and again the rollover effect is very simple let's go to Firefox and you can see that I have rollovers that I've put on all of these the next thing is to do the swap image I'm going to add a swap image behavior and what I want to do is set which image do I want to change. The image I want to change is called image holder. There's the name I gave it. And I want to set the source to. It's going to be in my swap images folder. Um, Red.gif. Now I've got the choice to preload it. If I had a lot of different uh, images, I probably wouldn't want to preload my whole th um, portfolio. In this case, they're small GIFs, so I will. And if I leave this restore on mouse out, here's what I'm going to get. I'm going to save this and test it again. What happens is I roll over, the image appears. I roll out, it disappears. So let's edit that. Let's get rid of the swap image restore behavior. And then here, we're simply going to say A on click. What that little A does is it indicates that we want it's a link and we want to use the hand cursor. So let's try that. And there we go. There are the image swap behaviors.